thank you for staying with New Day here on CNN Philippines. An educator from Leyte was among those recognized in a recent <clears throat> Microsoft Education Exchange program in Paris, France. And to tell us more about his journey and about the program itself, we are joined this morning by Ronel Boholano. Good morning, <clears throat> Sir Ronel. Thank you so much. Thank All the way from Leyte here thank on New Day. Thank you so much. But first of all, do discuss your experience in Microsoft Education Exchange program. How were you able to join this and what was it like? Well, uh, first, it's, I'd like to describe it as it was a great, amazing and wonderful experience for me to be there. And then this Microsoft Education Exchange program usually happens in once a year. It's an annual event of uh, a gathering of selected school leaders and educators around the world uh, to showcase our uh, undevelop our class, our innovative classroom ideas. Oh. Yes. But how were you selected? I mean, what was the process like in terms of trying to apply? Well, uh, we applied per personally. Then Microsoft actually selects which among the which among us will be representing the country for that event. Mm -hmm. And then what was the uh, just in terms of the process? Because you said it was annually, so I'm sure other people might want yes. or might be interested in joining uh, yeah. again <laughs> next year. No, yes. so what? It's just like lahat online. Um, do you need a certain credentials before you can actually even think of applying? Yeah, uh, Microsoft actually announces this this application uh, through the Facebook page of Microsoft and in the education community also of the Microsoft edu uh, education community. So you the the party the teachers can actually apply and then Microsoft selects it. So you just need to be you just step up your innovative ideas in the classroom and apply these things in your in your respective classes. Okay, and you, congratulations to you, yeah, because you, you are also among the participants. <laughs> that was awarded under the creativity category for your innovative Eiffel Tower activity. Yes. Oh, so, so, what did you do? <laughs> well, actually, uh, before, before I talk about our winning project, so the Microsoft Education Exchange Program Committee actually gave us the task to create a learning activity which is based on the 21st century learning design. So it focuses on the themes like amplifying the student voice, uh, creativity, collaboration, and inclusion as well. So in our activity, together with my other group members in Team 46, we created uh, a learning activity that, that compares the different Eiffel Tower replicas around the world using okay. Sway. Mm -hmm. And then they plan and collaborate with each other. The students will be able to collaborate and plan with each other using Teams and OneNote. And then they, they create this project using the Minecraft. Oh, okay. But so, education is the edition. Uh, but, yeah. But in a more uh, educative way. But so you Team 46. So how were you able to make this tourist spot more inclusive, uh, especially for people with disabilities? Yeah. Well, actually, in our project, uh, in Team 46, we are not actually the one making this more inclusive, but the learning activity that we that we did is actually let lets the student create this uh, tourist spots like that more inclusive. So we are giving them a sandbox or freedom for them to create new things in in Minecraft safely in Minecraft. So actually, Minecraft serves as a, as an equalizer uh, to different kinds of students. So including students with disability as well. Okay, so wonderful. Well, before joining the exchange program, Ramel, uh, you worked as an ICT coordinator in Leyte where you create programs for regional teachers in the same field. And what kind of programs um, were you doing? Well, well actually, I am still currently now. Yes, in you're still there. You're still there. <laughs> and I, the IT officer of the uh, division of Leyte. So since 2017, we, we created actually uh, learning and development programs for our teachers in terms of ICT in education. So we try to find out the, their ICT needs of the teachers and then create uh, training designs or learning and development activities suited for them. So even currently, we are doing an ICT training right now in Leyte. Uh, it's now happening uh, for around 160 teachers. Uh, in Leyte with our Microsoft Education Ambassadors in Leyte as well. Wonderful. That's a nice place uh, to go. I mean, there's a lot of uh, innovative yes, teachers yes, there. Yes. So you said, as I mentioned earlier also when we started our interview, that this is a yearly program. Microsoft yes. does this yearly. Yes. And so once again, um, is there any age limit? Uh, can no. anybody join? Must we start looking online? When does it start? <laughs> the, the, fir the first thing I think that you need to do is for you to become a teacher. Okay, there you go. <laughs> or so, an educator as well. Right. School, a school leader and then kindly uh, we are inviting everybody to be in the education.microsoft.com website and then you know take courses uh, improve your profile there and then afterwards you can apply for the experts program to become a Microsoft innovative educator expert 
And then later on, you may now apply to the Microsoft Education Exchange program. And hopefully, uh, one of our educators would be the, the best educators that we have in the Philippines could actually, we will be sending that one to another Microsoft Education Exchange program maybe next year. Wonderful. Yeah, next year. Thank you so much for sharing your, st your story and your journey with us yeah. here so on much. CNN. And wish you all the best and we wish you more uh, yeah. educational yeah. journeys and experiences that you may have in the next few years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Maraming you, salamat si Ronel Boholano for joining us this morning.